wake up. Time to wake up. Well, I guess we are back with another video today. We are out here on Mille Lacs Lake. It is the second day of our quick little day and a half Minnesota trip before I got to go build a fence at my house back home. But um, anyways, yeah, it is day number two. I am just incredibly exhausted. I feel like I've been running around the clock for like a week now. Um, edited all last night and uh, slept in an ice shack because I'm a, obviously a last second trip planner and it was the only thing available. Didn't have a sleeping bag, ended up sleeping on a wooden bunk and uh, <laughs> slept for about two hours. But the fishing life is not always the luxurious life, right? Or, or everybody would be out here doing it. So anyways, today we are going to, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. We might just kind of see where the day takes us type of thing. I always hate trying to like, say okay we're gonna film this or we're gonna film that because then a lot of times what happens is you might get out here and it's like that's not the best thing to do right so i always like filming whatever the best thing to do is because if we're not filming the best thing to do what's the point of all this right so yeah we are uh i don't even know where we're gonna go i think we're gonna go north to start here we're supposed to have a little bit more wind today which is normally a good thing um as long as it's not too much wind but uh, I think fish should be biting, should be shallow. So, I mean, it's springtime, we're on the lax, you know, how bad can the bite really be, right? So we're gonna blast off here, um, get to spot number one, might start out jigging a blade bait, might start out jigging a rip and wrap or a plastic. Um, we'll see, I guess, right? Still so stay tuned, we're gonna get it going on. I'm sure we will catch some fish. I think that's probably a pretty safe bet today. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, spot number one. Right there. <laughs> Fish number one. And spot locked down. Kind of just put the troll motor on a medium speed. Started burning up some of this rock flat. And uh, when you get the first bite, there's normally gonna be a bunch there. There we go. Good one to get going here. I'm gonna scoop you up, buddy. And he hit it with the right attitude. There we go. Always nice to start with the bait you just absolutely know is gonna catch fish. And then go from there, especially when they're hitting it and this line's just going thump, you know, real hard and aggressive. Good sign they're probably gonna be eating decent. There we go. And when they're eating it like that, I guess. I mean, that thing is just absolutely gone. There we go. He's off. Number one. Beautiful Malax Walleye to get things going right there. He had the right attitude. Hope all of his buddies do today as well. We are fishing for five minutes so far. And uh, we might just take one more cast with this. Make sure there's kind of a whole bunch of fish here. And then... Uh, start mixing up our presentation I think yesterday it was so incredibly flat out and uh, hot a lot of times these fish kind of get weird in shallow water without wind and uh, they were definitely more on the live bait thing than the artificial thing yesterday but today with the wind I would assume it will be a different story um, but I guess we'll find out won't we Got him. Bass? Yes, bass. Very squirrely. Whoa, he's coming out of the water. After catching the tank smallmouth I caught yesterday, I almost just want to go target these, but I feel like some of them are starting to spawn and I don't really want to mess with them too much. Obviously the ones we're catching out here in this little bit deeper water are not spawning, so I'm sure there's probably plenty of them that aren't yet. There we go. 
I tell you what, these things out here, they just never give up. It's like, okay, he's all played out and then it'll go on a big run. If you fish smallmouth enough places, you'll kind of see some places, you know, smallmouth always fight hard, but there's some places where they're just straight insane. And this is definitely one of those places they fight just ridiculously hard. Come here, buddy. He might just come off right here, we'll see. No, oh, got him. There we go. Well, they're all fun. There we go. Chunker smallmouth number one of the day. And this is like the average size, you know, like close to four pounds probably. <laughs> just absolutely insane. Let's let him go back for more. Well, one walleye in the first little bit here and one big smallmouth, so. Right there. Oh, oh. Switched over to a swim bait. And a couple of casts in, we got one. He is all wily. Well, two on the jig and minnow, one on the swim bait. I can tell you right now, I'm not around like a lot of fish. You can just tell by the gap within the amount of time I'm catching fish. And then when you get in a, a serious, serious pot of them out here, it'll be like basically every cast, you know, from a spot lock position. But that one choked it. He had the right attitude. I think with this wind today, what I might end up doing is going way up shallow. I think there's probably a lot of fish up there that weren't really biting that good yesterday. And uh, try some of that stuff. Sometimes it seems like way up shallow too. You get really big fish, but... We're still on spot number one here. I'm just gonna kind of keep pitching this little area for a little while. All right, we are now up shallow here. Back kind of in this seven to 10 foot stuff. Look at this wind today, a little bit more chop. These fish will probably fire a little bit more. Right there, first cast up shallow. <laughs> Just saying how we moved up here, and look at that. Running weird might be a bass, but how many times have you heard me say that? Ooh, big walleye? Getting weird, goofy head shakes. Now we got a giant brown bass. <laughs> so cool. Man, it just never gets old out here. Oh my gosh, he can't even lift himself out of the water. I mean, look at that thing. Wow. This place is just insane for smallmouth. Absolutely unreal. Catch him right with the walleyes this time of year. I'm going to scoop this up. He's just a toad. Absolute giant. And swim bait fishing in the shallows. Man, it's just a great way to catch Kind of anything, really. Where is this guy? There we go. <laughs> Just absolute freaks out here of smallmouth. Insane. Absolutely insane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that thing. Choke that swim bait. Get that thing popped off. I mean, that, that's 100% a five pound fish right there. Crazy. Look at the gut on it. Solid, probably 20 and a half, maybe 21 inches long. Freaks, absolute freaks. Let's let them go. I mean, look at my hand around the tail. Crazy, crazy, crazy. See you later, big mama. Well, maybe shallows will be the spot that's really popping off today. Right there, another one. Got to be another smallmouth. Came at the same point in my cast. So I don't know, I'm gonna say walleye on this one. Getting less head shaking. Oh yeah, walleye. 
All right, so first two casts up shallow, we got fish. I think we're, uh, what is that? It's a huge smallmouth with them. <laughs> oh man, I absolutely love this place. Come here, buddy. There we go. On the little 3.8 inch tickle tail, one of my absolute favorite swim baits, as you guys know, in Arkansas shad. Giant smallmouth and some nice walleyes all in the same water on the same bait. Spring is amazing. There he goes. I think we're on it. It feels right. When you're catching fish every cast is when it starts to feel right out here. Just had my chesty die. So I guess we're gonna be running just the front camera for this little clip. The shallows are alive today. That is for sure. There we go. I think a lot of times you have you know, a real calm day like yesterday and I don't think those fish really might not move that much, but catching the fish in gin clear water, very shallow without wind, more difficult. There we go. Man, a lot of fish this size in this system. 19 to I would say 21. Just a ton of them. Let that guy go. See you later. Wow, did that one take off with it? It was big. You see me set the hook on that and it was like I just couldn't even catch up to him. Gotta be walleye though, right? Right? Definitely walleye. <laughs> Throttled it, man. Just throttling that thing. One of the funnest bites in walleye fishing snapping swim baits around. The bites are just incredibly explosive. We can cover a lot of water and it is on today. That fish must have hit it and just ran at me. <laughs> angry, angry fish. Look at that guy. Awesome. Barely skin hooked too. Man, fish after fish after fish on that swim bait today. I'm glad we moved up shallow. And that thing is just catching them, man. All right, see you later, dude. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I was literally looking at the map to look at a different spot. <laughs> and a fish bit. And it's a really nice one too, wow. <laughs> Guess we don't have to look at another spot, huh? There we go. As you can tell, the wind has uh, picked up substantially. There we go. Another really nice walleye. Look at that. Isn't that a strange way to get a bite, huh? The guy thought he was going to get the best of me because he knew I was looking at my graph. There we go. Another nice fish. Man, the amount of quality fish in this system is just absolutely crazy. It's an incredibly fun place to fish. See you later, dude. All right, well, we are headed home, unfortunately. Um, phenomenal time on the Lax. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little morning video I filmed. I am headed home to build a fence for our house, which is going to be a lot less fun than uh, catching walleyes and smallmouth is. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Malax obviously f fishing great right now. Um, a lot of fish up shallow. Pretty much every spot I fished was between 
I'd say six and 13 feet of water. And it was generally a shoreline connected spot. Um, most of it was on the east side of the lake. There's just endless little rock points and rock, you know, saddles off the shore, just all sorts of crazy rock structure um, on the east side of the lake. I kept wanting to go fish up north, but uh, every time I went up there, there was just too many people. I couldn't even get to a spot I wanted to go to. So um, I'm assuming there's probably some fish over there too. Uh, but obviously the, those fish are eating pretty much anything you jig, whether it's a swim bait, a, a live bait minnow, um, a jerk minnow junior, the snap jig bite is definitely on. Um, one thing I did kind of see was a bunch of uh, smallmouth starting to bed. Um, so my guess is, you know, that's definitely going on. Water temps are getting there, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed making these, this video the last couple days on uh, Mille Lacs. And uh, soon we'll be headed back to Minnesota to a different large body of water to do some walleye fishing. Um, so stay tuned for that. But I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you guys are catching some fish this spring. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.